Tonight, the two candidates for Hines County Sheriff went head-to-head -head in a debate but put on by 12 News. 12 News' Gary Burton Jr. joins us now with a recap of the night's top issues. Gary? Interim Sheriff Marshan Chrysler and Sheriff's Captain Tyree Jones talked about a number of topics, but the number one issue is no secret, crime. Now here's a look back at some key moments from tonight's debate. Marsha and Chrysler and Tyree Jones are hoping to gain your vote on Tuesday, November 23rd. To do so, they talked about crime, and Chrysler has formed a gun suppression unit to get guns and weapons off the streets and jails. One of the things we've been dedicated to doing under my watch is making sure we focus on getting dangerous weapons out of our community, both outside the jail and inside the jail. It's my understanding that there was a recent shakedown done at the detention facility. Several shanks and homemade weapons were recovered. Was there anybody charged with it? If not, why? There should have been charges. That is a criminal charge. That is a felony charge that should be forwarded to the district attorney's office. Chrysler says there were charges filed. Now, with hundreds of warrants in the county that needs to be served, to get them handled, Chrysler says space to house inmates is the main concern. We already got a commitment, unanimous dissent from the Board of Supervisors to build a new jail. The other thing is JDC for misdemeanors. We are absolutely working tirelessly to get the JDC, which is Jackson Detention Center, open, so we'll have a place to put misdemeanors. How can we build a new jail when we can't currently maintain the one that we have now and come from under the consent decree? Notice, the runoff election is Tuesday. Now we're talking about building a new jail. That's impossible. We can't even deal with the particular jail that we have now. And staying on the topic of jails, in a response to the Hines County Board of Supervisors saying it will take a year or two to turn things around at the detention center, Captain Jones says that comes from issues with the consent decree and leadership. There was a jail walkout that the public doesn't know much information about where there were only three detention officers left in the facility that happened this past Saturday. Chrysler claims Jones organized the walkout, but Jones strongly denies this allegation. Immediately when I found out that employees had some issues and concerns that they did not want to report to duty, keeping in mind that people were still on their shift, that's why we have shifts, that I went down, addressed the, the issues, and they went back to work. So it wasn't, a, a, again, a coup, wasn't anything like a walkout, but I think my opponent attempted to make that a case. And the issues the employees had was with their pay. And remember, the runoff election is set for this coming Tuesday, November 23rd. And remember, the voter turnout earlier this month was pretty low, according to the elections commissioners. So be sure to go out and vote for who you think can make the change as Hines County Sheriff. For 12 News, I'm Gary Burton, Jr. Back to you.